Hello everyone, my name is Om Priya and I'm an educator of Unacademy. You can follow me on Unacademy website and you can also download Unacademy learning app. So let's talk about the subject. So in this particular lesson, we will be dealing with the mutual inductance and you can see dot polarity. So this is also important from the exam point of view, right? Under the subject, electric circuit, right? So please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow me on Unacademy learning app. Don't forget to give it a big thumb rate and so friends, uh, let me tell you something about the lecture pattern. This is our lecture pattern, effective study pattern. First, we'll take a gate previous equation of two marks. Then the related theory. So in this particular lecture, the related theory is mutual inductance. I'll tell you how to find the equivalent inductance. And by the end of the lecture, we will solve that particular gate question. So this pattern is effective study pattern. If you want to know the concept for long duration so you need to follow this pattern and this pattern is very beneficial even for the revision purpose let's see so here we have a two marks question first read the question carefully the equivalent inductance seen at the terminal a and b in a figure is in terms of a Henry we need to find the equivalent inductance so what is given in a circuit let's see inductor 1 inductor 2 inductor 3 and here we have the mutual inductance between them there is some value of L1 L2 L3 which I am not showing uh, directly in this question we will see at the end of the this lecture in solution right So, we need to know first what is dot polarity. Can you see this dot? 1, 2, 3. So, what is the meaning of dot? So, if you are putting positive sign in place of this dot, then in entire structure, wherever you will find a dot, you will put a positive sign. So, if a current is entering in clockwise direction, so while entering the current in inductor 1, if you are signing here positive, then there must be negative. So, first again, that current value will enter into negative, then enter into positive. Similarly, if you are assigning here positive sign, then this dot must also be a positive. So, then current will first enter into positive then it will move to the negative and similarly the current first meet your positive sign then to negative so this is a meaning of the thought let's see something about the magnetic circuit here our first circuit is our electric circuit another circuit you will find with the help of this mutual inductance and magnetic coupling you find some voltage in another circuit. This is known as the induced voltage. Number of turn in first circuit is N1 and number of turn in second circuit is N2. Here the voltage and current in first circuit is given. So let me tell you something about this flux. Total flux on adding leakage flux plus magnetizing flux. So here, 511, this is known as a leakage flux. It will be itself an inductor. So can you see, in this particular circuit, we have a leakage flux. And second one is useful flux, or you can say magnetizing flux. So I'm representing it with a 512. I'm writing 512 because 1. Due to the circuit 1, there is flux generated and and moving to the which circuit 2. So, with the help of this, it will induce a voltage in another circuit E2. So, that is why I am writing here 1 for 1, then 2. Right? Let's see the derivation. 
in order to find this induced voltage first we'll write n2 n2 you know this is our n2 and if you remember the lens law right then we should know this point so uh, i'm writing n2 d512 this useful flux d1 into the circuit tube divided by dat that means change in flux rate of change in flux right and multiply with the n2 you can also split it into like this d512 divided by di1 and you can also multiply the equation with di1 so you can easily able to find here the e2 so in place of a n2 d5 i12 divided by di1 i am writing m12 mutual inductance due to first circuit into two so i am writing here in this way so you will get the value of e2 and similarly we can also find the value of e1 for e1 you will write here due to the second circuit into one in this voltage you will write m21 rate of change of current and m21 will be n1 number of turn in first circuit rate of change of a flux due to a second circuit again for 512 you can write k1 multiply it with a 51 flux in first circuit similarly the flux due to a second circuit you can also write k2 and this phi2 so this is our equation 4 and this is our equation 3 here equation 1 and equation 2 all we need to multiply the equation 1 into equation 2 so on that you will get this value and two rate of change of flux due to first circuit and here we will write n1 actually there it is n2 actually there it will be n1 so n1 rate of change of flux in second circuit due to second circuit with respect to it can you see here we have a i so flux is changing with respect to the current also here we know the value of m right so we, were, we are indirectly multiplying these two value so you'll get the value like this now can you do one thing what we'll do in place of a 5 1 2 we will substitute this value so you'll get here in place of a 5 1 2 so 5 1 2 is here so we'll write here k1 and d5 1 similarly in place of this 5 2 1 you'll write k2 into 5 2 so i'm writing here k2 and 5 2 here so you'll get the value like this and by the end on solving you will get here the value because you can easily able to identify this k1 into k2 equals to L1 into L2 inductor because you can write it as an inductor so I'm writing it as an inductor L1 into L2 so let this value equals to this value and K1 equals to K2 that is equals to K so on putting the value equal value you will get your M square equals to L1 into L2 into K2 so here we'll get our formula mutual inductance equals to under root l1 into l2 into k or you can say mutual inductance equals to k under root l1 into l2 where k is a coefficient of coupling or you can say useful flux by total flux this k value coefficient of coupling value lies between 0 and 1 So these are the useful point 
please mark this point and note it down because these points are very useful for finding any equivalent inductance. So friends, uh, if you find such kind of a structure, parallel connection along with the dot polarities, we have uh, two connection. First one, additive connection. Why I am writing the additive connection? So when we find in parallel connection, these opposite dot kind of structure, you will write directly this formula. L1 into L2 minus M square divided by L1 plus L2 plus 2M. Right, I am saying plus 2M. See, whole formula is same here. The only difference with this plus 2M or minus 2M. So, in order to remember this, you need to know the some connection configuration. So, here in additive connection, whenever we find in parallel connection the opposite right so you will write here plus and plus such kind of structure is known as a additive connection and then we have subtractive connection can you see the dot is an opposite and in a parallel way you can also meet it them like this so if you find the connection like that in parallel so we'll put here negative such kind of a structure is known as a subtractive connection and you should know this is known as a subtractive connection in case of a parallel connection two inductor connected in parallel so we'll put here minus 2m minus 2m the in total inductance in this and this case will be same and similarly in additive connection this is same Let's see its series connection, which is a required topic of today's lecture. First, we'll see the additive connection. So, whenever we find the similarity, here can you see the dot before the L1 and dot before the L2. And whenever we find again the similarity, dot after the L1 and again here dot is after the L2. Whenever you're moving right in forward direction you can easily identify this thing so in this type of connection this is known as the additive connection you'll put plus 2m l1 plus l2 plus 2m similarly in this case l1 plus l2 plus 2m so in both the case you will get the equivalent value then we have a subtractive connection when we find the opposite points dot like there the dot is after the L1 and here the dot is before the L1 and here the dot is before the L1 and here the dot is after the L2. So we'll put a minus sign L1 plus L2 minus 2M. Right? So in this way you can easily able to find. So let's solve our question. This was our question. So what we'll write whenever we are moving in clockwise direction? First the dot is here. Then dot is before. So this is a subtractive connection. Again you have additive connection. Then we have again additive connection. So you can easily write for L1. I am writing here minus 2m because it is a subtractive connection. Again additive. So I am writing here plus 2 2m again the dot are here in opposite so I am also writing here minus now substitute the value we will get the answer 4 plus 4 plus 4 inductor value then 2 into mutual inductance between them mutual inductance value is also given in the quotient so I am writing directly the values and you, you will get the answer 8 Henry so in this way you can easily able to solve the answer you have to just move the current in clockwise direction and see the dot polarity. This is opposite connection you can see able to find and this is a additive connection series and here again you will get a subtractive connection. I hope you like this lecture and please mark these points. These points are equal.